Aquarius. Welcome to the end of March. When I was shuffling, the hangman came out twice. So maybe you need to see something from a different perspective. Maybe something in love because the love card also showed itself to me. So if that means, oh, there you are. Okay, girl. You're in your energy. I do, see, I do feel like y'all are feeling yourself because I did also see the Three of Cups a couple times. So I think you guys are just having a good time right now. Like, yeah, the Queen of Wands, that's you. Could be dealing with another fire sign, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting that. I mean, you could be, but I'm definitely feeling like this is you. Just showing up all pretty for your reading. Okay. Well, that's a lot of messages. Can I get more messages for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Reverse, can I get more? Oh, okay, okay. Shit. Ten wands, so could be dropping these burdens soon if you haven't already. It's good because it's a ten. So you could have had a lot on your mind, just a lot going on, just being really busy. But you are getting rewarded for your efforts here with the Six of Pentacles. Could be getting gifts. Can I get more messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We're just going to get more messages for Aries. Cars. Four of Wands, okay. So stability, yeah. Um, you could just have a, a demanding job, but it does bring you stability. Six Pentacles with Four of Wands. Definitely. If you're not feeling it now, you will by the end of March. You'll be completely in your element. Probably because your season's coming up, so you're definitely going to be in your element. Okay, damn. This is good so far. Six of Wands. So, whatever you're doing, whatever burdens you're dropping, whatever job you're doing, you're doing great. Like, it's bringing stability. People are seeing you like this. What the fuck's with that? Okay, then. I get more messages for Aries. Eight of Swords, so, I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe somebody or you is feeling like, it's weird that it comes after the Six of Wands, that's why I almost don't feel like it's you, so I'll clarify that card, but you could fear something, I saw the tower like five times, you could be fearing that something's going to change, maybe you have to move or something and you're fearing how that's going to go, or maybe you're feeling that you'll lose the stability that you have. Okay, so one of these cards flipped over. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're gonna lose this energy because this is great energy right here. You're dropping the burdens, queen of wands. You're definitely in your element. Gifts are coming, shit's going well. You're getting paid, looking good. Four of wands, so you could be married or wanna get married, but I'm just looking at this as you're stable as fuck. Yeah, 10 of cups, wow. So yeah, maybe you're God, almost this just feels like an energy that's outside of you. Like, it's on the outside of the reading. Like, it feels like it's outside of you. The Ten of Cups. Okay. Page of Pentacles could be getting news about a job. News about something. Hmm. Maybe you have kids. Hmm. News about something regarding money. Wow, Knight of Wands. So, in the Eight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, definitely some news. Maybe a news about stability, and that maybe scares you a little bit because you're already very stable. So maybe I saw the tower a few times. Maybe something's changed that in some way, and you're scared yet. Yeah. Like I said, maybe you have to move with the Knight of Wands. Maybe you have to move, or you want to move, and maybe you're just a little nervous about it. Like, I'm not getting the super heaviness of the Eight of Swords, but... It is a sword, so yeah, you could have had communication from something that you had to move. I don't know. Hell. But overall, you're dropping burdens. It could be you're dropping the burden of this anxiety here. Uh, I'll pull some clarifiers. Let's see. Yeah, four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You could be holding on to your money because of this move that you have to make. Let's see. I almost don't want to clarify why you're successful. You know why you're successful. You know what you're doing. So let's clarify the Ten of Wands. What are you dropping? 
Maybe you're dropping a Pisces or a Cancer. I see the moon in the back of this card, so maybe you're dropping somebody. I don't know. Okay. Now, what's the Ten of Wands? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, 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 okay. What was that? Knight of Wands. Yeah. As okay, so you have the World, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Wow. Okay. So, you're dropping something. Or maybe after you drop something or someone, you're entering a new cycle. So, yeah, uh, could be a creative one, a passionate one. And this is this is kind of reflecting where, because it's not really, the only personality on this board is you, literally you and you. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. So, yeah, you are completely in your creative energy right now. You could be working on something. Maybe you have a skill or something that you're working on. And it's very successful. You're seeing success. It's bringing you stability. Or by the end of the month, it will be bringing you stability. So whatever you're working on, keep doing it. Because it's going to bring you stability, success. People are going to recognize you for your work. Yes, Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So, yeah, this is fulfilling you. Now, I want to know what this Eight of Wands is. could be a message from someone or about a job. But I definitely feel like with the um, Knight of Wands, you're moving. Either you're moving away from something, moving away from a job, or, like, actually moving locations. Which, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, is going to be very fruitful for you sure so that's good could be dealing with another fire sign you could have a new um a new beginning with a fire sign with the world card here could be a leo fixed energy hmm. okay let me see what else i want to clarify this is good i like this reading for you guys um hmm Oh, yeah. Let's see what the Eight of Swords is about. What's the Eight of Swords for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Universe, what's the Eight of Swords? Ten of Swords. Okay, so, yeah, it's ending. Whatever it is, it's ending. If you had, you know, bitches stabbing you in your back, you're pulling them out of your back. And you're being successful instead of the Eight of Swords is what I see. So, yeah, you're, the, whatever anxiety you may have had about moving or whatever this communication was, I'll clarify it. But whatever it is, it's the 10 now. You even skip the nine. You're just like, fuck it. Like, you don't, it doesn't matter anymore. You're strong. You got strength at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, could be dealing with a Leo, but um, you're strong. You're stronger than this. And you choose this. You choose the 10 of cups. You're choosing that over this self-imprisonment for sure so yeah but the page of pentacles and the eight of wands i do feel like it's an offer about a job maybe you're getting a new job offer that requires you to move and maybe you were feeling a little iffy about that but now you're not with the ten of swords so let's see what's the page of pentacles with the eight of wands what's this news for aries sun moon rising and venus signs for march 2019 What's the Eight of Wands with the Page of ooh, the Page of Pentacles? Eight of Swords, okay. So you got the Eight of Swords again. Yeah, maybe you got... Let me see what I'm getting from this, because it's a little different. You've come out of the anxiety. You've come out of the depression. You've come out of whatever this feeling was. Now, the Eight of Swords clarifying this news, maybe it's a relief from this. Like, I feel like it could be a relief from the Eight of Swords. This news that you get is a relief from this. So if you are feeling this heaviness, some news is going to come in that's going to bring you the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, stability. But right now, people are seeing you as successful. So whatever you're working on, these burdens, drop them. Because, yeah, with the Page of Water... And the page of cups you're getting good news this is good news by the end of the month could have already got this news which it's that eight of swords the ten of swords so you just drop it okay so let's figure out what's the ten of cups for aries what's the ten of cups for aries what's this fulfillment okay if you are in a relationship i'm seeing it being okay yeah you're just you're fulfilling yourself you're filling up your own cup like i'm getting cards i have the six of pentacles again and the queen of wands again so yeah this reading might be short because it's pretty straight to the fucking point you feel me so yeah you you brought this on yourself whatever this happiness is whatever you've been working on you absolutely deserve it you deserve these gifts you deserve this successful this success really with the six of wands and the six of pentacles 
and this is you it's all from you like the ten of cups like you clarified the ten of cups you are fulfilling yourself whatever you're doing keep doing it yeah and then you keep doing it you get the offer you get the job you get the whatever you're working on you get it like you get exactly what you want so that's kind of cool so if you're in a relationship it's very fruitful a little bit of anxiety but you let it go hmm. if you're not in a relationship you're just doing good all by yourself shit either way you're doing good all by yourself you feel me you could be in a happy relationship with the four of wands you could be very happy the king of yeah you guys definitely if you're in a relationship this could be soulmate because you have the king of wands and the queen of wands so when you have the same suit it's definitely a soulmate energy and the four of wands so yeah very successful so shit let me get some advice i think you know what you're doing whatever you're doing keep doing it but i will get some advice for you guys Y'all readings are always short. You guys are always just clean cut to the point. Like I just, there is never no drama. I fuck with y'all. Okay. So anyway, let me get some advice for Aries in March of 2019. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let me get some advice for Aries. Okay, that wanted to come out. That's weird advice, but I'll take it. Okay, so we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So definitely keep nurturing yourself. Queen of Wands, keep nurturing yourself. This is your birthday season. So yeah, you will be feeling fulfilled before your birthday season. Like you just, you've been working for this. You Maybe you've been working hard to have the perfect birthday season and you're getting it. So temptation is the advice for you. So maybe if you've been tempted to do something, Maybe with this eight, this Ace of Wands and you've been tempted to like ask somebody something or whatever, do it. And that's really weird advice, but I'm taking it because I'm definitely feeling like whatever you've been wanting to do or you've been tempted to do, do it. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a really good reading. So if you guys would like a personal, you can go to my website, which will be in the description box. And yeah, I think that's it. Hope this was helpful.